For the first time ever, cockatoo birds have started sipping from Sydney, Australia's water fountains after mastering a series of complex moves that allow them to turn the spigot and get the water to flow. And scientists believe that these clever birds actually learned the technique by observing people and then trying to replicate that themselves. I found this article fascinating. I think that animal intelligence articles are fascinating in general. What we're talking about today is the sulfur-crested cockatoos in Sydney, which in case you're unfamiliar, look like this bird here. They make great pets. They're a little bit on the larger side, so it's easier for them to manipulate human-sized objects. And they're among the more intelligent bird species, but we knew that even before they were drinking water from the fountains. Researchers had received reports that this was happening, so they set up camera traps and recorded the birds taking turns drinking at a fountain. Over a weekend, there were over 500 attempts over 44 days, and the birds were successful about 46% of the time, with scientists saying the behavior consists of a combination of actions involving both feet, bill, and shifting body weight to start the water flow. The birds would actually have to grip the handle and actually push it forwards to activate it in order to get a drink. And one of the things that's fascinating about this article is that over 70% of the local bird population attempted to do this. So it's rapidly spreading amongst birds, which is amusing because the same city actually had a bin opening problem. This is an unrelated scientific article where cockatoos once again learned something they shouldn't. They learned how to open garbage bins and forage for food. So the authors of this study are concerned that cute little cockatoos are going to teach other ones all across Australia how to use the water fountains, which is... <laughs> wild, fascinating. They're incredibly intelligent birds. Uh, they've been known to dunk biscuits in water before eating them, dipping their food in yogurt to add flavor, and all sorts of other problem-solving behavior, which personally I think is really cool. 